and they did the smart thing you do it with uh, all politicians uh, you put them out in the sunlight uh, with no shade and it's amazing how much shorter the speech has become uh, make you follow the the five B's of public speaking be brief brother be brief uh, so I will um, I will certainly adhere to those um, rules it's a um, it's wonderful to be here uh, today on Colonial Drive. Uh, many of you may know that our first uh, home as a, as a couple, DeAndre and I, we, we lived just four blocks down the road. It's where we started our family uh, here in, in this great city that, um, quite frankly, has given me an opportunity to do all the things I've wanted to do in life. Blessed me. Uh, God blessed me uh, with coming to Columbia over 30 uh, years ago. Uh, a, a fantastic education and a family and a community that's, that's loved me and invested in me in so many uh, different uh, ways. It led me uh, to the St. John Baptist Church uh, just up, up the road. Um, and I, I mentioned that because, of course, uh, Reverend Roscoe C. Wilson Sr., he, he, he baptized me, he, he, he married me, um, uh, uh, and baptized my wife uh, as, as well. And the ties to that church led me to this community, led me to, um, um, to our assistant pastor, uh, um, Preston Wilson, who, um, along with his brother uh, Roscoe, um, uh, got us here today to recognize uh, Mr. Shives. Uh, I'm a big believer that we are all uh, products of the men and women who, who come before us. Those, those who, who work to build this wonderful experiment that we live in, this, this, this great nation, um, the, the, quite frankly, I believe the greatest nation in the history of the world, uh, built by, by men and women who, who sacrifice, who contribute, who give of their time, their talents, and their treasures uh, for us to have the opportunity uh, to do that much better than our parents, and even more importantly, create a world where our children and our grandchildren can do that much better uh, than us. Uh, that doesn't just happen. It requires um, men and women of, of, of commitment, of, of, of sacrifice. Um, all cities across this country, not unique to Columbia, uh, 30, 40, 50 years ago saw an exodus of businesses, um, people leaving to go to the suburbs, and then the suburbs beyond the suburbs, and then the suburbs beyond those suburbs. Uh, and very few businesses uh, in this community and all around Columbia chose to stay right here in the communities that given to them and they realized that they were going to continue to pay it, it forward. And Shives Funeral Home and then Mr. Bill Shives is one of them. He's right here on this immaculately kept corner uh, for, for, uh, for, for many moons, um, meeting the needs of families in their most challenging times, uh, doing it with, with compassion, love, um, bringing the, the, the grace and mercy of Jesus Christ uh, to families when they need it the most. And it is an example, I believe, of the very best of us, the very best of us. Um, so it, it's, it's my pleasure on behalf of, of, the, of the people of Columbia, my friend, and uh, the city councilman for 22 years, Sam, 23 years now, uh, Sam Davis. Uh, Sam, Sam still does not let me come to North Columbia without having a passport. I have to ask to come uh, out, out here. But on behalf of Sam, on behalf of our fantastic uh, neighborhood uh, leaders who work every single day to make this neighborhood strong and safe, as Ms. Gilly and, and, and some others, and uh, folks at St. John Baptist Church, Mr. Shives, we're just here. And, I, and, and, and John, and, and I want to thank John and Sarah. Uh, when John and I first uh, discussed this, and John and I did not call each other and coordinate our outfits this morning either, by the way, y'all. Uh, um, um, Potter called me and told me what his dad was wearing, so I decided to, to, to suit up uh, uh, properly. Um, but, but John and Sarah, I thank you for your, for your long time friendship. And uh, I, I know how important it was for us just to come here. And I, I'm, a, I'm a big believer. I get around this country. And I, I mean, if you know, in, in five plus months, I will be cycling out as, as mayor of this great city. Um, and I've had the, the wonderful pleasure of getting around the country, indeed around the world, uh, telling people about what makes this place special. Uh, how we have the University of South Carolina and Benedict and, and, and Allen, how we're the home of, 
uh, uh, Fort Jackson, we trained the greatest fighting force the, the world has ever seen. We're state capital, which is some days is good and some days bad. That's a whole other story. Mm -hmm. But I tell people that when you when you're trying to figure out what makes this place special, you leave post, you leave campus, you you you, you leave the state capitals, and you find um, what really makes it special are, are the people. Uh, that you, know, you still find men who open doors uh, for women. Uh, you 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 find folks who um, who still pull over for funerals, uh, those who aren't on, on reticent about thanking God for as many blessings in our life. I tell them you can still find sweet tea in restaurants, <laughs> Mr. Shives. And I tell them you still find people who know the two most important words in the English language, and those are simply thank you. Thank you. This is a, a wonderful way on behalf of the people of Columbia and the thousands of families uh, that you've touched, Mr. Shives, uh, to simply today say thank you. And, and, and know that your, your labors, that your contributions, that your commitment to this community um, uh, have not been in vain and will never be forgotten. Thank you. Stage is yours, my friend. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Shives. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. I'm very grateful. Uh, there's so many, many people that I have to thank for this uh, day. And first of all, my wife, uh, Barbara, and the children, Gail and John and, and uh, Jane, and of course, uh, Sarah and the, and the children, uh, both daughter and uh, Allie. Uh, we're very, very grateful. and my nephew Randolph Shives, who could not be here with us today, he was not feeling well, and, uh, but uh, I'm certainly very grateful to all who have uh, taken part in giving us the opportunity to serve so many, so many, many nice families over the years. Uh, City Council, uh, back through the years, uh, when I, this of course at one time was a separate city from the city of Columbia. It was the uh, town of Eau Claire that was later merged into the city of Columbia. And of course went under, went in under the zoning regulations of being grandfathered in. Uh, when we had the vision of making this facility what it is today, of course, we went to the city for the permits and and to the council, and uh, there was just you just wouldn't think there would be any way that they would be able to uh, allow us to do it. But somehow, some way, the uh, city of Columbia got behind us and helped us do everything that we needed to do to better this uh, facility to be able to serve not only the community, but the Midlands of South Carolina. And I am most, most grateful to all who uh, have helped through the years. I had no idea there'd be a group like this uh, here. I, I do better on the other side of the speaker stand than I do on this side. But thank you all so, so much uh, for being with us and what you all have done to help us through the years. Thank you so much. <laughs>